Hi everybody, Rob here again from Power Learning Solutions with another tip, another trick that I just learned about how to make sure that different elements of your documents that uh, maybe you're creating them for an assignment or uh, to share with your students or for any other reason, how to make sure that uh, some different elements meet full accessibility requirements. Uh, I've got some other videos that show you how to tag your headings and, and uh, how to format for both APA and accessibility for a lot of general elements in your documents. In this one, I was inspired by a question that I got from one of my students who created some smart art to put in one of her assignments that she submitted to me. And uh, the question was, how do I make sure that the smart art is fully accessible? Well, long story short, when you have some smart art like this diagram that I created here using the, uh, the smart art features in Word, when you have something like that, it is not accessible. Uh, that's because this object that you've created actually resides in another layer that sits on top of the document. So it can't be accessed by a screen reader application. Now, one quick fix that you can do is uh, you can actually right click on this and you can add alt text to it, which you should do for any figures. But it still might cause some issues because this object is gonna reside on another layer. So even the alt text is not gonna be picked up by a screen reader application. So how do you fix that? Well, there's a couple of different tricks that you can use and I'll show you my actual preference. One of these would be to convert this uh, object into shapes instead of smart art. Now, unfortunately in Microsoft Word, the option to convert smart art into shapes is missing. Uh, if you look at the design tab, you've got your reset graphic option here. There's no convert option available, but that option is available in PowerPoint. So what I'm gonna do is just copy my uh, smart art and I've got it pasted here into PowerPoint. Now when I go to the design tab on the toolbar, there's a convert option. So I can convert this to shapes. I do that. Okay, I still have to do a little bit of messing around here with my fonts because it's changed the color of my fonts. That's easy enough to fix. But now I have shapes. If I copy these back into my Word document, these will be picked up by a screen reader application because they're gonna read them in line with the rest of the text. And because they're shapes, it's gonna read uh, each shape separately. So you can, uh, if you're using a screen reader application, it will read them out in the desired order and it will actually read the text that's in them to you. But unfortunately, because these are all gonna be different shapes, separate shapes, you have to add alt text to each and every one of them. Well, another option that you have, and this is my preference, so I'm gonna take this and copy it again in here, is I'm just simply going to take this and I am going to save it as a graphic. So save as picture. And I'll just put this into my pictures folder here and I'll call it lorem ipsum. That is now saved in there. So now I can delete this uh, smart art from here. I'm gonna go back, I'm going to insert my picture I'll go to my pictures folder. My lorem ipsum picture is here. I'm gonna make sure that my alignment is in line with text. If you uh, cha change this to behind the text or in front of the text, again, you're gonna have it on a separate layer and it might make it more difficult for a screen reader application to pick it up. So now what you need to do, the next step to make sure that this is accessible, right click on it and add your appropriate alt text to the picture. So, I'm just going to call, uh, say that this is a pyramid figure illustrating the relative proportions of common words in lorem ipsum. Now I haven't done the actual math, so don't hold me to it if these aren't the actual proportions of these words. 
So your alt text should explain just the reason why the picture is there. Uh, you could get into a little more detail and describe one of the key points that's in there, but I prefer to keep it nice and short and sweet. Less than 50 words is the preference. Describe why the picture is there. And then for your auditory readers, those who are using a screen reader application, make sure that in the paragraph that precedes or follows the diagram, you describe the main points that are in that diagram, just as you would if you were writing a research paper, uh, writing a paper to submit to a journal. You'd have your table, you'd have your figure, and then you'd have a paragraph describing the key points that are in it so that you can refer to the diagram and see the big picture, but then you can read the big points, uh, the, the key points that your readers need to take away from it. And that is how you make sure that any smart art that you want to put into your Word document is fully accessible.